have yeah, you have always recommended DRAM SSDs, but unfortunately, most SSDs only have SLC cache. Has your opinion on DRAMless SSDs changed much? Sometimes you guys use them in your builds, like Sabrent Rockets. So I, it's one of those things where I feel like, and you know what? I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have, a, I don't have a rational. Uh, basis for this, and sometimes things are sometimes things do be like that. Though um, I feel like DRAMless is still the way that I would go if I could if I could afford the extra in a particular budget for my build. And the reason for that is that it does put a little bit less stress on the NAND in the long term. Is this going to be a problem within the reasonable? life ex life expectancy of an ssd probably not using using the the nand flash as an slc cache to accelerate the, fun the the drive or using system memory so so many ssds these days support using a little bit of system memory to um to make up for the function of a, of a dedicated dram cache on your ssd uh, and that aside from the small performance hit, is not problematic at all. Uh, relying on the NAND itself to accelerate the SSD um, can cause a, a, a little bit of extra wear. Even then, is that going to be a problem in the long term? Um, probably not. You know, I think that in the early days of SSDs, especially when we were still using SLC or 2-bit per cell MLC, there was a lot of hand-wringing and stress about how our SSDs had a finite number of write cycles and they were only going to last for a little while and they basically had a had a countdown timer, they had a ticking clock on them and 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 we we stressed a lot about it and some of that was valid, especially for like an enterprise application where these things are going to be overwritten, you know, multiple times per day. But for the average user, I mean, think about it. How how often are you actually overwriting that SSD? And if it can support hundreds or in some cases is thousands of cycles of being overwritten. Is that really ever going to be a problem? Um, yeah, so it's not rational, but I would still I would still take a DRAM cache SSD over uh, over a DRAMless SSD, assuming that you know they're at the same price. Um, I don't know that I would, but with that said, if I were to buy a system, so let's say I picked up an ROG Ally or a Steam Deck or a laptop, and it had a DRAMless SSD in it. Am I going to notice? Am I going to bother to replace it? No. And especially if I was picking up a game drive, uh, like a secondary game drive, I don't know, direct storage might matter at some point. The first couple of games Im implemented, it hasn't really mattered. But for direct storage, it might matter at some point. Um, so for like a secondary game drive, just my, my game dump, um, would I bother to get a DRAM cache SSD? <clears throat> Absolutely not. For that, where I'm not going to have any data that matters and you know everything could just be replaced by downloading the games again from Steam, just get whatever the cheapest possible storage from a, a reasonably respected brand would be. Um, in MGOR, in Floatplane chat says, them king spec SSDs die quickly, though. I, I mean, that may be true. That may not be true. That may be anecdotal. I don't, I don't have any, any trustworthy data on whether king spec SSDs die quickly or not. But if they do, I would say it's probably less to do with the lack of DRAM cache and probably more to do with the quality of the NAND. There's been some recent scandals, particularly in USB thumb drives and SD cards around low quality NAND flash from rando suppliers or in some cases used NAND being used in these devices that has an extremely, extremely short life cycle. Man, I would love to see that product. The 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 SSD NAND USB thumb drive, you know? Like the the A grade NAND chip thumb drive. I'm, I'm not aware of anybody who sells that anymore. Premium thumb drives used to be a thing from the yeah. likes of you know uh, brands like Patriot or whatever else, but I'm I'm not convinced that they exist anymore. Apparently they exist. Okay, Can, do you, does anyone have an example? Who who makes who makes that these days? 
Uh, build it yourself with an M.2. I mean, yes, that is what I do. Um, apparently, Corsair has one. SanDisk and Samsung have them. But which one specifically, guys? Because don't don't tell me that every Samsung one is a good is good quality NAND. There's no way. All right, give me a specific model. Let's see, Samsung Bar Plus. Someone says. I've never heard of a Samsung Bar Plus. Me neither. And apparently, neither have you. You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> apparently, the SanDisk One Terabyte Extreme Pro. Oh my God. Okay, I have to go Bar back Plus to the is a thing. Result. Unfortunately, Bar Plus I can't exists. screen share with you guys right now. Uh, oh, I couldn't find it. I, I it brought up a bunch of Samsung sound bars. No, I found Bar Pluses for sure. How did you not find I it? Maybe you. you're on that Japan Google. You. I'm trying to find My the Google right one, and then I'm going to screen share it. Right now. Yeah. You can force yourself on. onto the like, Can I screen Google. share with you guys? No, I don't think so. I got this, though. No, sir. Samsung Bar Plus uh, 3.1 flash drive, 256 gigs. Speed in style. Move files in a flash. Rugged refinement. I'm not seeing, like, stuff. Oh, it says I can screen share. Look at that. I uh, I totally oh. didn't even know that was a thing. Now, how do I how do I make this? Do you make it big? You need a different scene. I make this big? Well, no, no, it's fine. Uh. It's fine. Hold on. No, I'll just, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Okay? So everything you're looking at right here is a sponsored Amazon result. It's really small. You're looking at right here. Is oh, it, you're that's highlighting fine. I'm highlighting it. I see, it. I see, I see. Everything you're looking at right here is a sponsored result. Everything you're looking at here is the same Amazon result, but not <laughs> sponsored. <laughs> wow. And then this is people also ask. <laughs> wow. That is a bold at 100% scaling, and I believe this is a 1440p display. Unbelievable. I have to go here to find, oh wait, is that this result? No, this is a different WD page. This may be the actual result, right under the fold. So you can tell they totally knew. They 100% knew what I actually wanted, they just put it below the fold, below all their sponsored crap. Anyway, okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing now if I can figure out how to do that. Oh, I'm screen sharing. Right. Someone, someone suggested that I use Kagi. I'd never heard of it. Apparently, it's a premium, uh, like, pay to access, I think. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so this no is ads. a portable SSD. This is not what I was... This is not really a thumb drive. I wanted something in that thumb drive form factor that is just plus? using higher quality NAND, like an SSD. The bar plus? Is that what the bar plus is? It doesn't look very big. Okay, I'm going to try searching for it again. Oh my god, karaoke. I, I have 100% had plus normal karaoke. flash drives that are, that are physically bigger than this. 100%. Multiple of them. Oh yeah, this one this one looks fine. Okay, so the Bar Plus yeah. is a trustworthy drive to store your valuable data. Okay, so it looks like this is the one. This is the thing I want. Yeah. Comes Backed with a nice a little lanyard warranty. thing on it. Boom, that's a lot of time. Do they actually say like how many how many total writes it's rated at, or are they just saying Samsung makes a lot of NAND flash and are experts in NAND flash, therefore you should trust it? Because I don't actually see anything that indicates yeah, exactly what NAND chips are in this thing. I'm not sure. I can't find that either. They just say it's fast. Uh, and and the reviews for this thing are terrible. <laughs> are they? They're mostly on five Samsung's stars. own site. The reviews are awful. Start start scrolling down. Yeah. One and done. Stopped working after two months. Far from announced speeds. Poor write speeds. Protected registration. Fast read speeds. Poor write speeds. Only lasted seven months. Those are the first eight reviews when I scroll down. Oh, you are on a different page than me. 
Mine is like I'm overall, on the US page. overall 4.5. I'm on the Canada page, I guess. My my top yeah, ones mine's are 4.2 and has a lot of negative ones. My top ones are uh, impressive and stylish, amazing, high quality flash drive, solid, secure, never fails, future repeat customer here, durability. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Napalm uh, in Twitch chat, in typical Twitch manner, has apparently put their life savings into Intel. Thanks for the info. Guys, I made it very clear that's not financial advice. I don't want you to do that. Please don't do that. Yeah, don't do Thank that. Thank you. Bye. Apparently, the Bar Plus had some issues for a while with sizes below 128 gigs. So those might be old. Okay, which makes sure. sense. Or it might be that they're not using super, super great quality NAND. And in lower capacities, those low overall writes are revealing themselves a lot faster. I want to, I want to, okay. I'll give a screen share for a sec. I don't know how well you can see this, Linus, but they show like, you know, the bar plus deployed in a few different scenarios. It's on this guy's like wrist uh, bead thingy. Like, okay, that looks pretty cool. It's probably really annoying having it whack into your hand all the time. And then, okay, it's just plugged into a laptop. That's fine. And then the weirdest spot to permanently have a flash drive really? like, ever. Really? Just attached to the pull tab of the side pocket of your backpack? Have you seen the one that's in the back of a shovel? So basically, you're telling Wait, me... what? You're telling me you want to see an even dumber over-engineered pull tab on the LTT backpack going forward. <laughs> Their oh, now- pull tab is the flash drive. Yes. Yeah, you see this? Do and it. a carabiner. It's a carabiner yes. with a flash drive in it. Carabiner and flash yes. drive. There we go. Are you listening, Tynan? Tynan. Time to redesign. Tynan is screaming. And Back to square one. I can hear him. <laughs> I can, I can hear and to be clear, guys, when I was talking about <laughs> Intel, I was talking like very long term. I was talking like multi-year outlook. So please... I, none of it is financial advice. I was just saying I, I like I like their trajectory competing with TSMC and geopolitical tensions around TSMC and Intel being a place to fab things. I that that's that's all I was saying. I was saying I like Gelsinger's vision. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, you like this stock? Damn it, you guys. He just likes the stock. There you go. I just, I just like the stock. <laughs> Not CN- financial advice for the CNN love of God. time. Yeah, let's let's Not go. From- <laughs> I do. <That's- laughs>